Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Back today with our Galaxy Note 2. This one's the AT&T version. I'm going to take a look at a new ROM. Yes, indeed. We have the AT&T Note 2 and we're going to take a look at the first ROM. This one is the Jedi XP-13. Now this one is brought to us by PTMR3 and I did a review of his Padawan ROM for the original Note 2 on AT&T and I loved it. Thought he and the Deviant development team did a great job on that ROM and so far I'm loving this one as well. It's turned out great. So we'll go ahead and fire it up here and uh, while it's booting up we'll talk a little bit about some of the things you can expect in this. It's built from the official 4.1.2 firmware. It has several features including multi-window, rooted, Deodex, zip align, busy box. It's got the Super SU app. Tons of tweaks, performance tweaks, battery tweak, RAM management tweaks, network speed tweaks, lots and lots of tweaks. <laughs> it's got the Sony Walkman music as well as awesome beats. Framework modifications including the 23 toggles. You can do the ink effect with your finger as well as choose a custom ink effect color. It's got the exposed framework, icon changer, pie control, and tons more. For a complete list guys, as always, check out the thread over at XDA. I'll put a link down below. So you have the TouchWiz launcher right out of the gate. I added the Nova. Um, it's my favorite launcher, but you get TouchWiz and uh, works really, really well. As, of course, this is based on stock firmware, so everything's going to work really well. You have the multiple toggles, 23 toggles, and it is uh, customizable. You can change the order and pick and choose which ones you want. So I'm using a custom ink effect. It's a white one. You can see it there in the blue. And that is uh, customizable in the Jedi section, of the Jedi ROM settings section. So not a ton of theming going on, and that's fine. It doesn't need it. Here you have the Jedi ROM tricks section. Uh, here you can customize several things, including the 23 toggles. The you can choose you can choose a custom ink color here if you want to. I was using white, but uh, let's see, maybe a, a red would look good. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll stick with that one. It's got a keyboard switcher, custom framework installer, which will install the exposed framework mod. Then you also have icon changer down here at the bottom, per app DPI settings, and the Pi Launcher control. So this does have the Pi Launcher, uh, which is really cool. Then all your normal uh, Note 2 settings. Go into the About Phone here. This is running the Saber Kernel. We've got the Awesome Beats app. As well as the Voodoo Sound app and the Trickster app, which are both used in conjunction with the Saber Kernel. Battery life on this has been excellent. I've had it on here for uh, about three days now. Gotten really good battery life. Could go two solid days without having to charge. Quadrant scores were really good as well. If you want to take a look at the quadrant scores as well as some battery information and storage information, you can check out this video right here. I did comparing this custom ROM to a stock ROM. 
The developer has thrown in some really cool sounds here that you can use as ringtones. Uh, the one by default is Yoda. Mm, answer the phone, you must. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. There's the uh, T-Mobile jingle. And, uh, but one of the cool ones is the Star Wars March. So really cool. Very nice that he uh, threw those in. And there's also some uh, notification ones, R2-D2 and such. So really great job on that. You know what I would have loved to have seen is the uh, boot sound. In his Padawan ROM, he had this really cool electric guitar riff whenever you boot up your phone. And I love that. Um, it was something different. So uh, that would have been nice to see in this. Uh, developer, if you're watching, maybe if you could toss that in in the uh, the next update I know we can add it ourselves but you know it's always nice when we see these these cool little Easter eggs inside of a ROM but that was it guys this is the Jedi XP ROM version 13 I believe it's version 13 big thanks to the developer and his team for hooking us up with this Put a link down below, as always, to where you can find it over on XDA. While you're there, be sure to thank the developer and hit him up with a donation. These guys work really hard on all of these ROMs for our devices, and as always, they could use our support. Don't forget to check us out, mobiletakevideos.com, for all your mobile device needs. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. This is Sam. I'll see you next time.